Welcome back channel everybody and today I'm back in some more Life is Strange and this is my first recording in my new apartment. I did do a mic check so right now I do know how it sounds to y'all. And I do not have this room soundproofed, it's actually a very wide open room. Um, I'm waiting on a motherboard and my core processor for my PC and then I will have that built. I'm just waiting on that stuff. And I will continue uh, right where I left off of Life is Strange. Let's see where we're at. I do not remember where I left off. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. All right. Um, TV? Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Let's look at the poster. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. They are too pretentious, I guess. Laptop. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Being bows being very nosy. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. What'd you throw away? Who'd have thunk Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, what? Yep, sorry. I dropped my controller and caught with my legs. When did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Uh, what about her parents? What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. 
Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? No, I can't put on some music. We need to talk. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Yep. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. We had such a blast drawing these together. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Okay, fine. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf, but here I am. Oh, dark. I cannot see anything. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. <coughs> I hope she's okay. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. It's over here. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. I bet I could do something to save it. Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. Act, react, or die, a 21st century survival guide. Oh my, Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. Joyce still works at the diner, and Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. The prices are late on their bills. It won't let me go to the other one. Oh, 
Aw. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. Can I go back over here and get something for the bird? I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. Ooh, that's right. I can go back in here and rewind time. I'm gonna go back to before the bird hit the window. You've been resurrected, birdie. Fly, be free. It's just not dead. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Of course not. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem. That guy is an asshole. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. <sighs> I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh shit, the carpet! There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up! Just sitting very quietly, thinking. I guess that there was supposed to be some sort of music. Which, I currently have music turned off for copyright reasons. Brr. I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? 
Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. Those birds over there are acting weird. Something's gonna go down. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. All right, let's find the garage door. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Yes, score. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Now I can. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Man, I should have done that before they fell. All right, let's turn it on. Mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Is, is there one in Chloe's closet? Doesn't look like there is. Yeah, there's not one. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Let's get back to Chloe's room. Chloe's room, room, room. Right here we are. Oh, that's not Chloe's room. This is.
You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too, I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Dance. Dancing to no music. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe, I'm coming. what are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, three. Shit. What's I going on in here? Hide. Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends.
One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? Sure, I'll take the blame. Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hick hole. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. If you open the window, we can both get the hell out of here. Why do I have to open the window? Why can't you? I'm gonna get a drink real quick. Awesome right, back. Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come mm. on, slowpoke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Yep. It's a sign for the lighthouse. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Warren. No problem, and you still have to tell me your big secret. Okay. Let's go. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> Trust no one. How long has that been here? Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. You don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood. Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David.
He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? I wish. You know I would have read them. I'd love to. They must be important or he wouldn't hide them deep in his garage bunker. He kind of creeps me out. I bet the truth is out there in his files. Most likely, but it's good you didn't find his files. He would go ballistic. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it! He's so hella fucking paranoid! I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Storm is coming. Is Chloe still up there? I have to find out.
The tornado is back! for the town. Yeah, there's a big storm a brewing. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. It's snowing in the middle of July. I didn't mean to bump the mic. That was the end of episode one. Thank y'all for watching. I'm going to end this video right here, and I will see y'all in the next one.